All right, y'all, and these are the ingredients for the Cajun shrimp rice. I will be using some jasmine rice. This is my preference. You can use whatever you like. I will also be using some chicken broth, some butter, some shrimp. You can use the bigger ones if you like, some minced garlic. These are the seasonings, slap your mama, some Cajun spice, some paprika, some black pepper, some sazon, and you can add whatever other spice you want. All right, I'm going to start off by melting two tablespoons of butter and then I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. Once the butter has melted, I'm now going to add in the minced garlic. I'm going to add in two tablespoons. You can add one. It's all to your preference. I'm going to throw in some seasonings. I'm going to add in some black pepper, some slap your mama, some Cajun spice, some paprika. I'm just eyeballing it. It's all to your preference. You can add more, you can add less. And y'all already know I gotta add the sazon. All right, now I'm just going to mix everything up and I'm gonna let it cook for two minutes. All right, now that it's been cooking for two minutes, I'm going to add in one cup of rice. Then I'm going to mix it all in, let the rice get fully coated. Now I will add in two and two third cups of chicken broth. All right, and then you're going to stir that up. And then this time you're going to taste it. If you feel it needs more seasoning, add more seasoning. I'm going to add some more paprika, a pinch of sea salt, some garlic salt, some more Cajun spice. And y'all, I know it might seem like it's going to be salty, but again, taste it to your liking. Trust the process. The way I made it did not come out salty. Then I'm going to stir that all up again and then I'm going to let it come to a boil and once it starts to boil, I let it boil for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to pour some butter over it, some melted butter. And then basically you're just going to season it with the same spices you've been using. There's some Cajun, some sazon, some paprika. And then some black pepper. Alright, and then you just want to mix that all up and then let it do its magic before we add it into the rice. Now that the rice has come to a boil, I'm going to stir it once more. And then you're going to cover and you're going to simmer it on low heat for 15 minutes. 15 minutes later and your rice should look like this. I'm going to add in the shrimp. Then I'm going to mix it all in there. Then I'm just going to add a little bit more Cajun and paprika. Again, this is all to your liking. Mix that all up. Now I'm going to cover it and I'm going to cook it for five more minutes. All right, y'all. And this is what the rice should look like. Let me tell you, it smells so good. I can't wait to dig in. But for now, I'm just going to mix it, set it to the side until I'm ready to serve it. All right, y'all. And here is my plate. I paired the Cajun shrimp rice with some Italian green beans and some seasoned barbecue salmon. Y'all, it tastes so good.